She brings me joy. <laughs> I, I hope not. The game development department is in danger of shutting down due to declining member membership and performance. Can the rat tag band of gamers come together and make the best viewer game ever? Oh, I sure hope so. Can you hear my voice? Are you there? You're the warrior who will. I was worried about what? Save the world. Or some part of the saving the world. Is this at the beginning of like. Am I being rent to? What is this? I've been waiting for you. In the beginning, the Celestials and Demons. Okay, maybe this is just a game. Cut, cut. This is way too cliche. It's so lame right off the bat. <laughs> if I bought a game that started this lame, I'd be returning it before I even got an hour in. Let's go again. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna start over. I'd be waiting for you, warrior. I am the goddess known as Memoria. Our world, Minneapolis, is now on the brink of an unprecedented crisis. You are the only one who can overcome this crisis and save the game development department. I mean Minneapolis. <laughs> save our video game. <laughs> <laughs> you may face untold trials and hardship. But please, don't lose courage. Your abatis will always be by your side. You mean I'm no longer abatinless? I mean, I mean, hey, I, I'm not complaining. Sign me up. You are more than just a warrior to the young ladies of this new world. They will call you by a title even more special. That great title is... Ace! I do think it's a pretty good title. I do agree. I don't know this silly. Where am I? Wow! Ace's eyes are open! Are you awake? <laughs> you got lucky. Don't say weird stuff like that. You're embarrassing him. I'm just happy is all. Are you okay? I was afraid you never wake up. They are... They are adorable. <laughs> Wait, you threw the game station out the window? Why? Let me apologize on her behalf. <laughs> Don't act so high and mighty, Midori. When I said, I think... When I said, I think it hit Ace, the first thing you asked me was, Is the fly station okay? I mean, I don't blame it. That's a precious, that's a precious item. Forget the head. Is there, is the console okay? That's it because it's the game development department's most valuable asset. I better read it out without thinking. I probably would have done too. And I probably wouldn't cared less. <laughs> so, Ace, you represent Sierra, right? You do? You must have a regular letter. I didn't think you really come. Letter? Well, I'm just sending regular texts. Well, I guess when it comes to the letter, I guess you want to be more professional if you were thinking about it. But why not an email? Well, I probably wouldn't check my email either. Maybe they did a good job of sending a letter after all. These girls are pretty smart. <laughs> Welcome to the game development department, Ace. I'm glad you came. I'm Amoy, the department's senior wa scenario writer. I'm Midori, illustrated one of the charge of all game visuals. Okay, that's cute. Because Midori is green and basically Japanese, and my boy is Peach, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. There's also our president, Yuzu, but she's not here at the moment. Together, we got, we make up the Millennium Game Development Department. Or the GDG for Zorts. What, what? I said GDD for sure. I'm almost out. Until recently, the Game Development Department have been creating a 16-bit game in peace. Then one day, the Student Council launched this attack. Two days ago, Yuko, one of the student council's four divine beasts. <laughs> they gave her a title and everything. <laughs> An ultimatum? Allow me to explain it to you myself. I know that voice. Is it one of the four divine beasts? Yeah! <laughs> 
Hey, what's up, Spooka? <laughs> it's you! One of the Sewer Council's four divine beasts! The Colony Calculated Treasury Yuka! Could you please not refer to me like I'm some kind of monster? I'm simply trying to do my job. <laughs> hey, what's up, Yuka? <sighs> what a mess. Oh boy. You are all stubborn as ever, aren't you? Now you resort to involving Shale to stop us from serving you down. But it doesn't matter. Whether it's Shale, the General Sewer Council, or even the General Sewer Council President herself suddenly returned, it still wouldn't make a difference. The Academy Student Council has full discretion over the operation of its clubs. If we get a development department, we'll be closed. No one can stop it. N not so fast! You said that if we don't have the minimum required members or mere club objectives, that you lose your budget in club room, yes. This has been explained countless times to you. It's been over a year, and you still don't have enough members. Nora has your club in completing its objectives. With that in mind, on what grounds could you possibly object to our decision? Why did she get bigger? <laughs> I do have grounds. We're staying on tons of them. Our club is working his butt off in our activities. She's also bigger. So, we deserve a summit hearing. I think you mean a migration hearing. It'll be ridiculous. You tried opening a poncho parlor inside the school. Attack the ancient history research society looking for a rare classic game console. Your club's activities aren't anything but typical. How dare you ask me for more funds? You're just creating a havoc under the guise of fostering a healthy development environment. What do you have to say for yourselves? Sometimes you gotta look at the intentions behind something instead of the results? <laughs> That's what a failure would say. I don't want to hear it. You're the one who asked for an excuse. I mean, that is true. It may be a reason, not a meaningless excuse. But results are all that matter in Millennium. It's not like we don't have any results. We did complete an objective. We finished a game. That's right. Tail Saga Chronicle won, won top prize at a, a competition. Why is it so hard to say? Yes, I'm aware of the award you won. I suppose Ace is in the dark, however. Tail Saga Chronicle is the only game their club has successfully produced thus far. Their reviews were just as impressive as the game itself. I remember them quite well. If they want to create the most pathetic RPG of all time, then job well done? It's lacking a lot of areas, especially common sense? Oh my god, the game makes Dead Crimson look like a masterpiece? You can't just judge a game based on some trolls tearing us down. These are hardly outliers. It was a consequence. It was a consensus. That's why you won the award of worst game of the year. They have a trophy for that? Hey, all publicity is good publicity, right? Did he come with a trophy and everything? That's what I'm saying. They had a trophy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. It's unacceptable for your club to be wasting funds while damaging Millennium's reputation. Your adrenal resources are pending the progress of other clubs on campus. So, the burden of proof lies with you to show that your club is conducting valid activities. You want us to prove it? As I said, if your club can produce meaningful results, we'll resign your decision to shut you down. Do you mean like winning allocates? Yes. Take the baseball team advancing to an inter, inter high championship, or an engineering club submitting new adventures, for example. Something along those lines. You guys have a baseball team? Try not to win yet another Worst Game of the Year award. I mean, on a bright side, at least they're getting something. So, I mean, you can't really complain. If you'd rather save time, I can shut it down as now instead. Feel free to evacuate the club and throw away all this junk if that's what you want. Hey, those are treasures on the ground that you're calling junk, mind you. Don't call it junk, yeah. What is, what is it if not junk? There am I. There. I got it. You want results? You'll get them. Will I? In fact, development is practically done. Is it? What are you talking about? Why so surprised, Midori? We have a secret weapon up our sleeves. Is it me? And we'll be making a submission to the Millennium Prize. Tail of Southern Chronicles 2, otherwise known as TC TSC2. What's the Millennium Prize? It's a contest where hundreds of Millennium Clubs submit the fruits of their labor. No one could shut us down if we won that. Not even you. That may be true. 
if and only if you were to win. I'm sure you realize how absurd what you're proposing is, Moy. You'd be like our baseball team moving up to the majors rather than simply advancing to the into high championship. Are they that bad? Sneaky Yuka. She's just discriminating against us because she knows we're nerds that we don't have any friends. Hate her. But is a millennium of school of nerds though? What's the difference? Whatever. The point is we have no hope in going down the recruitment route. But it doesn't mean there isn't a way. Alright. What's the secret weapon you mentioned to Yuka? It's Ace, obviously. I knew it. Where'd that go, we know? Good. Let's go. This isn't good at all. What is this place? It's crawling with weird robots. What do you mean? I told you before we came here. These are the ruins. Well, now that we're here, I'll explain it again. The one who restricted access to this place and tried to hide its very existence was none other than... The President of the Prime Student Council. Do you mean the president who presides all over the others? The one who suddenly disappeared? One and the same. The Rhinestone Council has also had troops stationed here, but they withdrew after she went missing. We we'll haven't gotten this far, and otherwise, the point is this. Since the Prime Student Council has given up on trying to hide or watch this place, Verdius was able to slip us in. According to what Hamari told me, these ruins might hold all sorts of long lists of things we could have passed. Hamari? You mean the pretty upperclassman from Verdius that uses a wheelchair? Don't let her you say that you're going to flit her ego even more. What makes you think G-Bible is here? Wait a second. Don't tell me that you jumped to the conclusion that G-Bible is here just because of what Hamari said. That's not it. When I asked Verdius to search for the G-Bible, they also looked into the last place it was activated. But the results came back as area redacted. That means... Exactly. G-Bible is somewhere in the ruins. What is the G-Bible thing you two are talking about? I was gonna tell you yesterday before Yuka interrupted us. Back in Millennium's earlier days, well, the Alcuvelo's earlier days, really, there was a legendary game developer. That person created the G-Bible while they were attending Millennium. The exact details are known, but I was told it contains the secrets to making a perfect game. That sounds like a marketing tactic for a game development school or something. No, the G-Bible is real. I know the Bible for creating the perfect game is out there somewhere. If we were to get our hands on G-Bible, Tales of Tale Soccer Chronicles 2 would be perfect. All we have to do is follow the quarters Verius gave us and we'll finally have it. Hello there, can I help you? Wait, Midori can heal? I can't take this anymore. What do we do to deserve to be chased by robots? Come down, Midori. The worst is behind us. This is your fault! Never mind that. What even is this place? Did the Prime Student Council restrict access to the ruins because they know about the robots? Actually, I was wondering if those robots were brought here by them to begin with. That's what I thought. I'm starting to doubt that now. I think there's more to this, and... Access denied. Access denied? Wait, what? What was that? Where's that voice coming from? Verifying subject identity. Subway Momoi, unqualified. What the? How does it know my name? Verifying subject identity. Sub Subway Midori, unqualified. What's going on? Verifying subject identity. Ace. Qualified. Don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> qualified. You have permission to enter. Subway Momoi and Subway Midori have been recognized as students of Ace. Access as companions granted. Bottom door open. Wait, bottom door? You mean like a trap door? It's not even a red herring, it's just... We're falling! Did I cushion the blow? My priority is to protect students, aka my friends. That's what's most important. Momoi? Ace? Uh, I thought we were gonna die. Are you okay, Momoi? Where's Ace? I'm down here. What? what are you doing down there? What do you mean? Be grateful Ace broke our fall. Oh, I guess I was so surprised I jumped to conclusions. I think you owe him an apology for that one. Nah, it's okay. You don't need to. 
Are you okay? I'm doing pretty alright. Why would I say that bottom? No, I'm, I'm doing pretty alright. What in the... Is something wrong, my boy? Huh? What is it? Oh. Hi. Nothing. Something like she's dead. Don't say that. I don't think this is a corpse. Take a closer look. She doesn't look injured. More like destroyed. She does? She looked like she was more like put there, if anything. Who is this girl? Yeah, what's this place supposed to be? Maybe we should ask her. If she wakes up, that is. Let's get her some clothes first. I feel bad leaving her like this. Do you guys just have an extra pair of clothes with you? Why? Wow, you really did bring an extra change of clothes. Dude, that's my underwear. No, they're mine. The key face up front is different. Do I need to know this information? <laughs> I'm just realized how long her hair is. Okay, well done. Status update. Contact with the approved subject detected. Dormant state deactivated. Oh, I think she's waking up. Oh, she's adorable! She's adorable! Into a conversation. Please explain. Explain? You wanna know what's going on? That's what we were gonna ask you. Who are you? What is this place? Sense of self, memory, and purpose not found. No data available. So she has amnesia then. What does that mean? And you're not going to attack us, are you? Negative. The offensive capabilities of this unit cannot be activated when in contact with an approved subject. Fascinating. Kivotos has several robot citizens, but I've never seen one that looks like us. And you've never seen a person that looks like me without a halo either. What do we do now? I guess we take her back. You brought her back? What were you thinking? Why did you bring her to the club room? <laughs> Don't choke me, I can't breathe! Hmm. First, we should give her a name. How does Ares sound? Please confirm Ares says it doesn't need a name for this unit. Wait, you said her name was Alice, or L-O-N-S. Where'd you get Ares from? And the other thing would take too long to say. And it's not cute enough. Trust me, a dev knows best. What do you think, Ares? I think she likes it. <laughs> Hold on. Moy, don't tell me. She's planning to recruit her. Wait, how are you going to even get her into school? Does she know how to do that? Does she know how to do that? You're thinking of disguising her as a Millennium student and having her join our club? How is she going to do that? Ares, you're now one of us. <laughs> She's not even paying attention. That's my game girl advanced SP. It's only <laughs> it's only 16-bit <laughs> It's such gamer talk. It's the only 16-bit game console you with an 8-core 16-thread custom CPU capable of 8K resolution. Uh. <laughs> I hope this works. Okay. Verify meeting. A condition lacking and negative attributes or problems confirmed. There's no way this will work. She'll blow her cover the second she opens her mouth. It's hopeless. We can't both let this off. We have to. But do whatever it takes for me saving the game development department. Yuzu can't move back to the dorms. If we don't do this, she'll have nowhere to go. Is she homeless? Or does something happen? Um. Uh, so. Aries. <laughs> Is that a magazine? Oh, that? It's a little embarrassing, but it has an article about a game we made. It got a really bad review. Oh, right. I'm not proud of the fact it won worst game of the year. But why don't you give it a try, Ares? There are all kinds of conversations in the game, so it might be a good opportunity to learn. Purpose not understood. However... Really? Give me just a minute, I'll set up for you. At least she's determined to learn. That's cute. Okay, it's ready.
airy starting game. She has such an adorable smile, I want to protect it at all costs. Pressing button. <laughs> I feel like I'm helping my grandma learn how to use the internet for once. Beginning tutorial, press the B button to equip the weapon right in front of you. Press B button? What is this music? This is too awesome for me to learn how to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> if this is their tutorial thing, they can they know how to make some bangers. What? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. What? <laughs> what are you doing back here? Where's the fire knowing what will happen? Drink is you should have pressed the A button there. What are you doing here, Mamoy? I thought you were gonna get the student ID. Oh, I must have gotten there too late since there was no one there. I'll try to I'll go back tomorrow. Oh. Anyway, on second thought, the way we designed this seems a little unfair. Didn't we just start the game? Didn't she just start the game though? Again. Resume. Experience emotion that cannot be conveyed through works. Or through words. Oh, I know what you're feeling. It must be interest or anticipation. Or irritation. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's a rage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must get puny jelly. Secret sword. Soon by. Isn't this just the first enemy? What is this, Elden Ring? Puny jelly. You should know better than how to bring a sword to a gunfight. It had a gun? If we were going off the three life system in game right now, she would have lost a life. <laughs> she has no clue what she's playing anymore. <laughs> Are you okay, Ares? Resuming functionality. Initiating. They made her reboot. She really did lose a life. Notice. Caution required one range of puny jelly. Navigate and exterminate. Please don't punch the TV. Additional query. Why did my wife's missing childhood half-friend come through a time warp? Dictionary look up half-friend returned negative. Definition not found. Error has occurred! <laughs> Aries, are you alright? You're almost at the climax! She's not even gonna be able to finish the game before she short circuits again. <laughs> Please kill me! <laughs> How was her game? Did you have fun? <laughs> Query description not found. <laughs> but why? Expression look up in progress. Loading response. Please don't be a curse word. <laughs> she decides to drop an F bomb on them. <laughs> Fun. Oh, it was an F word. I need more. She's crying. Why is she crying? What the? Aries, why are you crying? What do you mean, why? She's been touched by her game. Well, I mean, let's look at it this way. If you enjoy, even though the game is a hot mess, but you still enjoyed it nonetheless. I feel like that's the type of game you probably play with your friends and family just for laughs. And just, to, you know, just have fun. I mean, sure, the game is a hot mess, but I'm here. Huh? When the cabinet get open? A ghost! Midori, stop. Don't throw the fly station again. <laughs> Aww? Hi. Yuzu. We couldn't find you anywhere. How long have you been hiding in the cabinet? Since you guys got back from the ruins. <laughs> this is basically the beginning. Wait, she was in the cabinet for like three hours. Why were you hiding in the cabinet for three hours? Is she shy? Is she an introvert? Th th thank you. Thank you for saying the game was fun and that you wished it wouldn't end. And thank you for crying. It really means a lot. I'm going to let you know this right now. If anything is to hurt this precious little bean right here, 
they will face the rage of a thousand suns. You better pick a god and prick him, cause you're going to be kneeling after I'm done with you. You will not make this cry. I refuse to let you make this cry. If you do, I will come after you. She's adorable! My heart can't take it! <laughs> Acknowledged. That's... Did she just make the noise? That's adorable! I love these guys already. I love them already. She's playing lane to the night. She's on her grind. I respect it. <laughs> We're morphing her into a gamer. This is the greatest day. Ugh. Are you already? Oh no, I have to get ready for school. You finally opened your eyes. Hey. Thank goodness. I was not sure you were going to wake up. Huh? Ares, you can speak normally now. Indeed, mortal. Gaze upon me and know it to be true. Oh, she's become the demon lord. <laughs> I get the feeling this girl, uh, doesn't have much combat experience. Am I right? Disagree. I've already saved humanity 27 times, defeated the Demon King 46 times, and explored hundreds of dungeons. This is going great. <laughs> That's, uh, pretty prophetic of you. The one and only post that allows wireless music playback and file sharing via Bluetooth. I mean, I'll take it. If it means I get to listen to some tunes while taking down a, taking a horde of enemies, I will take it. I'm about to be like Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> to top it all off, if you enable the NFC feature, you can use it to make payments at convenience stores. It feels like my phone more than a gun. That's amazing. Imagine how the store clerk would freak out if you whipped out a pistol and said, I'll be paying with this! I was just thinking that too! <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> you have a good eye, customer. Who are you? I'm Kotori, one of the Engineering Club's Meisters, and the Master of Explanations. And you must be Ares, the fourth member of the Game Development Department. Oh, hello again, Kotori. What is this huge thing? It kinda looks like a cannon. Excellent deduction, Midori. This year was produced using a set about 7% of the club's budget for the second half of the year. Let me introduce our most ambitious project yet. A railgun fit for an intergalactic battleship? I was gonna make a guess it looks like a railgun. It took 70% of the semester's budget just to make this one gun. To make an intergalactic battleship, we're gonna need a thousand times more. Then why did you make this gun in the first place? What a disappointing question, my boy. It's simple, really. It's because we love laser beams. I believe they've been watching a lot of Dragon Ball. <laughs> I'm surrounded by idiots! I feel like that's rich coming from her. <laughs> by the way, the official name of this passion project is... Supernova, the Sword of Light. Another overblown name. And she's taking an interest to it. I want one. I want it too. The great formers of steel, bequeath unto, <laughs> bequeath unto me the might of Dragon's Breath. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad to hear you're so passionate, but we couldn't possibly fill that request. Why well, you said everything in this corner was fair game? I have my reasons. Oh, she's cute. <laughs> what reasons, though? Is my level too low? What stats do I need to equip this weapon? That's not really what I mean. My mask is like this, you have to be realistic. Oh, is it just too heavy? Because the thing looks giant as is. Exactly. Well, I have you're so interested in our creation. And you're able to actually handle it yourself, I imagine we could part with it. Oh. Are you certain nothing be good with your thoughts, Techno Mage? Huh? She's speaking weird again. I think she wants to know if you're serious about what you just said. Of course I am. How about this? Do you want to try holding it? Can she lift it up? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's a, she's a robot. I know she's a robot. Can she lift that up, though? Or is she an android? I think she's more like an android. She who lifts this weapon on high shall rule this land. <laughs> That's the spirit. Huh. Be careful, don't hurt yourself. You really should have the crane over there, sit. She's lifting it? <laughs> what? <laughs> she lifted it? 
I... D she has a rail gun. Is she about to fire it? She shot a hole through the roof. They gave her a rail gun. Actually, I shouldn't be too surprised. It was in her banner when I first started playing the game, but still. They gave her a rail gun. I love this game. Have I said that? I don't think I said that. I love this game. This is crazy. I feel like we just got a super rare item. Or more like a super overpowered character. What? Oh. Okay. That works. <laughs> I was really expecting a giant laser to shoot off. Grip strength for at least one metric ton. Be able to maintain balance while firing. And she has superhuman strength. Not to mention a body which perfectly maintains itself. You could be self repairing yourself via nano machines. Being able to design designated for use in harsh environments where constant maintenance is required. Obviously, one such environment immediately springs to mind. Does she know? The battlefield. Oh! Just who is Ares really? Is she a battle android? There's no way this is true. Hey, Spooka, what's up? She's nervous. <laughs> Don't worry, this won't take long. No, oh, Ares, you'll be okay. <laughs> Psst. Hey, Ares, if the GTD is threatening you to stay in here, blink your left eye. <laughs> Blakely stares into the distance. <laughs> I am. Um, I wanted to play Castlemania, then I heard there was a game a game club here. Hmm, I see. Nice, you're doing great, Ares. You said game club in your previous answer. As I'm sure you're aware by now, the GTD it doesn't exist solely to play games. If you're to be involved in development, what is your role here? Tank a light type melee fighter. What? Oops, I mean, I am a programmer. <laughs> you mean programmer? Shit. <laughs> oh, yes, that one. I'm the very picture of the perfect programmer. She totally biffed it. Let me see. Programming is a difficult position. It kind of is, yeah. Oh yes, it is tough being a programmer. Sometimes we die for working too much. That is also true. That's what it feels like doing some of this stuff. What? But it's not actually that big of a deal. Dying isn't a big deal? Yeah, you should just wake up in an inn or give money to the cathedral and you're totally revived. What are you talking about? Hmm? Is it common sense? It's common sense, really. Have you not played the Fable Heroes or any of the games in the Brothers, in Brothers series? They're very good. You should give them a try. <laughs> I think I understand exactly who Ares is now. We are so screwed. Wait, what do we do? Uh, for one, I can tell you're an odd duck. But more than that, you're someone who likes to explore new worlds, work with your friends, and achieve new things. I have it on my mind that you're a member of the game, de game development department. Wait, really? Then that means... You met the necessary requirements to maintain your status as an official club. Well, until the end of the semester, that is. Wow! Wait, what? What'd you say? But we have enough people! What more do you want? Huh? Oh, I thought you already knew. Sure, the low member account was an issue, but you also need to produce tangible results as a club. Of course, you get a grace period since these rules have just changed recently. However, if you can't produce results within a month, your club will be shut down regardless of whether you have four members or four hundred. This can't be happening. <laughs> but it is. I've already explained this to all the club presidents. Now that I think about it, your president Yuzu was absent from that meeting. Oh, Yuzu. This is all my fault. She's anti antisocial. I'm trying to think of the word. She's parasocial, I think. Huh? What was that, Yuzu? If you're going back to the ruins, then I'm coming with you. You what? Was that a rocket launcher? What was that? 
Is everyone okay? It's tougher than we thought. Are you okay? I mean, my head's still on my shoulders, so I think I'm alright. Where she's booing. Wait, her gun looks like the Nintendo Switch. She has a game console for a gun? Neon Cat? She has a grenade launcher. And it was... What the... She inputs commands in her fighting animation? She's the greatest! I'm rolling for Yuzu when she comes back out. Wait... Yuzu and I have the same birthday? No way, are you serious? Oh, okay, now I definitely gotta pull her then, are you kidding me?